All right, welcome to the channel, everybody. I am OGL Schmidt for Danny Lee OGT. You are watching Custom Creator. We have just started to dive into the pretty crazy world of uh, Japanese metal. We uh, were introduced to a very lovely and talented group of ladies named Love Bites, and I enjoyed both the songs we've heard. Hopefully we'll be hearing more from them in the future. But I was also given a suggestion for another Japanese band, another group of amazing Japanese ladies called uh, Bandmade. So I just want to give you the sales pitch, essentially, I was given in a comment. This is from uh, Patio Furniture. I'm 72. Saw Zepp, Bowie, Stones, Allman Brothers, all the 60s and 70s mega bands, and have had my love for new rock reinvigorated after years and could not believe the talent and songwriting of this band. 10-year anniversary this year, over 120 incredible songs, not one filler. So that's that's a hell of a uh, it's a hell of an introduction. That is a hell of a well again a sales pitch. So interest in Pete is peaked. I loved Love Bites. No pun intended. I uh, love right. I apologize. We uh, pause there for station identification. Uh, before we get into the uh, stars of the show, I do just want to say uh, recently Dickie Betts. The guitars for the Allman Brothers uh, recently passed away. Uh, Danny has introduced me to some great classic rock. The Allman Brothers is one of those bands. I remember reading about Dwayne Allman and Dickie Betts in guitar magazines when I was younger. That is a terrible loss to the music world, uh, to the institution of rock and roll, and especially to the family and peers of that man. So Rock in Paradise, Dickie Betts, you're part of a dying breed. You are going to be... You're missed already. That's not going to change. So, rock in paradise, Dicky Betts, and uh, yeah, let's let's wash down our sorrows with some uh, some killer Japanese metal. See what they've uh, see what they've got for us. Okay, uh, that was quite an opening. Uh, great guitar work from the ladies. Just really thunderous drums. Uh, this is, again, another, another uh, tiny Japanese lady that's just you know bringing the thunder on that kit. This, I'm pretty sure, is being sung in Japanese. I, I can't I honestly understand a word that the singer is saying. Uh, she's got a really good voice. She's going through lines really quickly. But she's able to add things like vibrato and open up her uh, her sound at times. It's again, it's very um, driving, very dynamic, and uh, I really do like the uh, <laughs> the presentation is strange. Uh, again, band maid. They're all dressed like maids. Uh, it's interesting because a maid is considered like a servant, and they're playing very assertive music. Uh, probably that's the intention of it. Um, but yeah, I, I again love the theatrics. It does kind of look like a, a Japanese maybe horror film or period piece come to life in the form of a metal song. But uh, yeah, but the exception of the, I would like to see a translation of the lyrics. 
but the groove and the musicianship is 100% a universal language. So let's keep going. I want to see where this ends up. Yeah, I'm oddly compelled. I mean, right off the bat. So Benny was kind enough to turn on the closed captions for me. So lyrically speaking, there's definitely a lot of longing and a lot of, um, I guess, desire, for lack of a better term, a lot of emotional intensity in the lyrics. And I could kind of hear that from the singer's voice. Again, uh, you don't have to understand the language to understand feeling. Um, again, that vocal line is just relentless. I, I'm going kind of scattershot here, but like the different colored flowers that each of them have in their hair. That's also a really cool touch. And almost, um, there are times when I actually like listening to bands where the singer has a very pronounced accent or where it's in a foreign language because it definitely kind of has that otherworldly feel to it. Uh, so this, while the music itself sounds similar to, you know, some stuff I could, that I have on my iTunes or in my MP3 player, or something like that, it's hard rock and hardcore metal got a great sense of melody uh but yeah because the lyrics are in a different language it feels exotic you know it, it feels strange it feels uh again from a different world so that makes me okay yeah i want to go visit that world i want to see what uh what what else they have uh, of course the japanese culture is a very fascinating one to begin with uh from what little i know uh there's i have friends that know a lot more about that than i do but definitely seems like a cool place to visit but and They've got some amazing metal bands, and yeah, these ladies are absolutely killing it. Uh, I'm sure they probably toured with Love Bites before. See, look at that made outfit, the nice serene look on her face. It's just shredding on that guitar. Keep it. See, I look like that blue flower and the way she's got her hair. It's just so striking and so unique. Loving it. All right, let's keep going.
to digest that was uh that was something else uh i loved their quick tempo changes like just the way they're able to go from that driving beat to sort of a more sort of a slowed down and groovy feel and the way they use their backing vocals as well and just their their really intelligent use of like the guitar interjections it makes the whole thing just feel so epic I guess if I'm comparing, and I guess I'm comparing them to Love Bites just because, you know, same country of origin, um, similar lack of knowledge of both, but they feel a little bit darker, not quite as soaring and uplifting as uh, Love Bites, but it's just such a strange concept. It's like, okay, we're going to dress like maids and get up on stage and just play this absolutely killer metal. But uh, I guess you could say they they made it work. Uh, but Okay, so now this is the part where I tell you guys to let me know everything you can about this band. I want to know more about them. I want to know what other songs you'd like to hear me react to from them. I think I do have another suggestion from Patio Furniture, but yeah, so I'm intrigued. I love the, I guess what you call cultural cross-pollination. I love the authenticity of it. It was just <laughs> very unique and very compelling. So thank you all very much. Uh, Rockin' Paradise, Sticky Bets. Guys, let's let's keep the flame of music burning. Let's uh never forget the uh never forget the classics, never forget the forerunners that made everything possible. And let's give all the love that we can to the people that are continuing that cycle. So thank you all very much. Mental health is real. Be a part of the start. Music is your best support group. Listen to it frequently. Thank you very much. Have a good day. <laughs>